With the major solar power announcement by Vice President Kamala Harris last week, some may be thinking about how to move toward clean energy. The University of Tennessee at Chattanooga has a solar decathlon club. They are building a home with clean energy in mind. Local 3's Abigail Martin visited their job site to learn more. Abigail. Sunny, Greg, the UTC students in this group are getting hands-on experience with a vision to build affordable and energy zero houses. They want to make a positive community impact. So we're trying to, you know, make an impact on different aspects of the home building process and the home living process. Andrew Eubanks is a senior at UTC. He says they are using sustainable and energy producing materials so the home can be self-sustaining. He says they are trying to reduce the home's carbon output. We believe that it can, it can grow to a community of these types of homes that are all self-sustained or self-sustaining as a community. Junior Christian Despo says many aspects make their home unique. He says the roof's bifacial solar panels will gather energy from the sun. Also, the home is sold by capsule allowing the buyer to purchase more for personalization. Despo is grateful for the hands-on experience. Most engineers graduate, they don't have hands-on experience building what they're designing. And I think it's really important for every engineer that comes out to be able to build what they're designing. They say the three capsule home will be completed in September. Despo says this will give them time to build the house and work on a plan to transport their finished product to the sustainability decathlon competition in California in October. The group is excited for what's to come. We want to create something that's going to be useful for everybody throughout the lifetime of the home and the residents. After the competition, they say their goal is to sell the home in Chattanooga. The team hopes their project will encourage people to look into solar energy as an affordable option. We'll follow their progress. Reporting live in studio, I'm Abigail Martin, Local 3 News.